Hey what is up guys this is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys what in my opinion are the top 5 free DNS providers. Okay so I've used a lot of DNS providers um, especially uh, in my past right and I do currently use one right so in my opinion these are the top 5 that are I guess the easiest and the most um, I guess featureful DNS providers. All right, so the first one is free DNS, right? Um, so the website is freedns.afraid.org. So this is probably one of the top ones that most people probably use. This one, in my opinion, is slightly harder to use in the sense that if you've never used a DNS provider and you really don't know what you're doing, this is, um, it, it does take some learning curve um, on how to use it. Okay, but other than that, you know, it, it's not really that difficult to use, but once you get the hang of it, you'll understand how it works and it's really good. All right, so the next one is securepoint.d. Okay, so this is a German-based DNS provider, right? It's free of charge. Um, it supports IPv6 and it does do secure connection, right? So you can see SSL, um, securepoint.dns, SSL VPN client. It has a lot of different features, right? It is secure connection, so but the thing is, it doesn't have to be secure on your end, so it doesn't force you to um, make your point um, secured. Okay, so which I think it's good in a sense because you know uh, some people who are beginners might not know how to do that, or you know they don't they're just testing something out and don't really care about the security right now, so they wouldn't really you know want to purchase or you know, create a certificate or anything. So yeah, so this one's pretty good uh, in my opinion also. Um, definitely would recommend this one. The next one is Dynu DNS. The website is dynu.com, right? So this one is semi-free, semi-paid. So they do have a free version and as well as a paid version. You know, the free version, you can see all the features over here. Um, this one is good. I've used it in the past. Um, I'm not really sure why I got off of it, um, mainly because it, it did at some point kind of give me issues on my personal computer, which, you know, didn't really, um, it, it wasn't really reliable enough for me, but, you know, maybe that was just my computer at the time, but other than that, this was a really good DNS while I was using it, all right? Next one is No IP. so this is probably one of the more famous ones, noip.com. Right, uh, this one I've used for a really long time. Um, this one I probably have the most experience with, right? Because once it's one is that it's really easy to use. Even if you have no experience, you can easily um, set it up. So I remember when I had my Minecraft server running, I used no IP as the DNS, right, on my home computer. And you know, it was at that time I really had no experience at all, right? And it basically you know, just pretty much did everything for me and it was really good, just really easy to set up, right? And the last one is DNS server, Dyne DNS server, so the website is dyndnss.net, right? Um, I believe this is also German, I'm not sure, I'm not really sure why a lot of them are German, but this one, um, I, I personally haven't used it, but I have heard a lot of good recommendations for this, right um so and you know i would definitely recommend this also because i know a lot of people that have used this and really faced no issue at all all right so these are my top five i would say um you know if you guys are wondering what is a dns used for and why i would even want to have a dns um, service on my computer so it's basically to have your ip stay static so when you have an ip it could automatically change you know whenever the your internet provider wants it could you know pretty much change it whenever it wants right so if you have you know a home network or some kind of server running on your home on your computer right and the IP changes obviously those services would not be accessible anymore so you want to have a DNS service you know you point the uh, home network or your service to the DNS service and the DNS service automatic you have it running on your computer and it would automatically update um, whatever your IP is okay so it's just something like a layer on top of your IP um, 
so yeah that, that's basically what it's used for um so yeah these are my top five if you guys have any questions or comments if you have any other that you recommend right and you know worked really good for you you know leave it in the comments below i'd definitely love to check it out and you know maybe even make a part two for this so yeah if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time